Hi, this is Tim Grotman. I just wanted to show you what I changed today. Today is August 26th. It's almost September. Alright, so we go to the Tools tab, select the video recorder, hit play, get started. Alright, here's our video recorder. Let's just skip through all this because I've already installed everything. Yes, nice, nice. Alright, built in recording. Let's do a new video. We don't detect any of the devices because I'm running on a virtual machine right now. Um, but we do detect the display. I'm going to use the XVID recorder, Vorbis Audio Codec. And let's record a quick video so we can get through the other screens. Alright, let's do some recording of paint. Yes, here we go. So first, let's start off with some trees. And let's see, I got a, a nice stream outside. Got some uh, more trees. A lot of trees over here. Then I've got a, a yellow house. Now a house kind of looks like this. It's got a, a porch. Let's see some stairs. A garage. Okay, I got a window here. A door. And then kind of an edge here. Alright. Then I've kind of got a tri level. So the stairs kind of come up with, like this. I've got a couple bedrooms up here. Got steps down here into the rec room. Steps into the garage. And got another, the highest part of the house up here. And then it's kind of like that. And the windows. Yeah, something like that. Windows might be a little bit higher up here. And there's some plants outside. Yeah. And then I got my truck in the driveway. And my wife's already gone to the gym. Okay, cool. So we have our nice little video. Let's stop. Okay, we have a two minute video. Two minute, 10 seconds. So 130 seconds at 12 frames a second. Next, let's interpolate the frames to ensure that it, everything's 12 frames a second. It comes out to 1568 frames. You can see this little progress indicator showing me which frames it's working on. All the frames that it's creating are being tallied, and I get a size up here. So, two minute video, uncompressed. It's going to be about 40, 34 meg. All right, cool. And you can, we can. Go to the different points of the video. This will be used for the trimming later. So 15, 6, 15, 68 was the last frame. Yep. Okay. It's within the 10 minute limit to upload to YouTube. Okay. Launch virtual dub. It'll build our a video of the captured frames. Yep, there's the house, upstairs windows, upstairs roof, windows, plants, truck, great. All right, let's close this. Okay. Next, compress the audio. Oh, wait, 
that's the add the captions all right we can add a caption here like Croesus is awesome you can have lots of captions but we'll do that later save it'll pick up the changes merge it into the video All right, next. Okay, this will compress the audio. Merge it into the video. This is in, oh, it's already done. Okay. Um, I added these buttons here so we can go to the website for the combined community codec pack which will if you install this you'll be able to play the video re recording within your video recorder if it didn't work already or if you were missing the codecs and I didn't include this in the installer because it didn't have the source um, and I think to post the GPL stuff we want to include the source so and it's easier to just link to this page people would click the download and then it just downloads it so cool all right preview button would preview the movie if you had the codec installed next then we get to where we describe the video so a nice painting of my house number one ms paint is awesome keywords MS Paint House. Alright, upload to my YouTube account. Let's see. Yes. Okay, now we're going to upload. Okay, you can see that the buttons are disabled. I could abort it. Alright, and funny thing, our, our movie is only 173k. That's pretty good. Alright. Okay, so here's something I've added. Um, share will take you right to the share page, where if you're logged in, you can customize your video um, while it's being processed. You can choose whether it's public or private. This is the part where you can mark it as private, make it viewable to only you and your friends, and the sharing options let you customize all that and I think if you say private you could actually pick your friends okay yeah so that's cool you could pick which friends are gonna view the video okay well that's processing it let's see a two-minute video probably takes like 10 minutes for YouTube to process it and then we can watch the video when it's done I'm gonna just say watch now Oh, the video is not yet processed. Well, okay. So you just wait a few minutes, and eventually you'll be able to view the video. Okay, well, these are the changes I did today. You can watch the video um, abort while you're uploading. Share it with friends, that kind of stuff. Change the descriptions. Oh, pretty cool. Let's say we click finish and if you ever want to edit your video you can just go back through and when you get to this page just don't click new video just go back into it and you can edit what you did. So say you wanted to use a different video or audio codec you could do that. If you wanted to trim it to get a different video out of your video, you could do that later. You can recompress it, build in different captions, preview the video, or re-upload it. Although, uploads get, YouTube's going to kick it out because unless you change the video somehow, um, they'll